Okay, so question 27. We're given a force position curve. And we're a variable force, so it's constant for different distances, but it varies over the entire one meter. And it's acting on a 1.2 kilogram object whose initial speed is 0.23 meters per second. And initial position is 0.15 meters. Where is the object located when its speed is 0.67 meters per second? So we have a change in speed, and it's an increase in the speed from 0.23 to 0.67. So in order for it to increase in speed, there must be an increase in the kinetic energy. So that means that the work must be positive. And in order for the work to be positive, the force and displacement must have the same uh, direction. So if it starts here at about 0.15 uh, meters, and it ends up moving to a higher speed, it must be moving to the right. So, you know, the question the question could give a little more detail to state explicitly that the, and the force that's acting on the object is the net force on the object, and in addition to that, that the object only only undergoes changes in kinetic energy, but you want to make those two assumptions for this uh, type of question. So, the work net external is going to be equal to delta k in this example. So, we can figure out the change in the kinetic energy given that we have um, the mass and the two uh, speeds. This is one half m vf squared minus vi squared. That's one half of the mass, which is 1.2 kgs, times the final speed of 0.67 meters per second, all to be squared, minus 0.23 meters per second, all to be squared. And this gives you an answer of 0.24 joules. So that's the network. And this is also equal to the area underneath the curve. Area under F. Then it should be F net. Um, or in a sense, well, let me, let me try to rephrase that. Um, F net versus X curve. Technically, we wouldn't even explicitly say F net, but they, where this F is the only force doing work on the object. So that's sort of how I would phrase it. Okay, so that's what we know. And we do know that the object will move to the right. So it'll first move. We want to first consider how much work is done on the object as it moves from 0.15 meters to 0.25, while the force is constant there. So we want to figure out what this area is first. So the area from 0.15 to 0.25 is going to be 6 newton force times the uh, 0.1 um, meters so that's the 0.15 to 0.25 and it gives you 0.06 joules um, so uh, oh yeah Sorry, I made a mistake here. I know that this is the correct answer here. This is a mistake. This should be point. Sorry, I right, this is six. This is point six newtons times point one. Sorry about that. So point six times point one gives you the point zero six joules. So we can think that the area, sort of the area remaining, should be the point two four joules minus the point zero six joules. And that equals um, 0.18 joules. So that's what we have to. That's the amount of work done after it moves past 0.25 meters. So that's going to. We don't know if it's going to occur. We can ask ourselves on the question: Does it go beyond the 0.5? So the area total from 0.25 to 0.5, and that's 0.8 newtons times are uh, 0.25 meters. So in a sense, that gives us uh, a 0.2 um, joules. And we can see that that's greater than the 0.18. So 
so I know that the average is going to come short of the point, point 0.5 so that's what we know that the next part of the area is going to occur in this section so um, to find that then so the so I know it's you know the only force is going to act on the object over this region is 0.8 joules so I know that the the work from 0.25 to its final location to XF is 0.18 joules and that's uh, 0.8 newtons times some delta x. So sorry, I got a little room here. So I can think that delta x is equal to uh, 0.18 joules divided by 0.8 newtons, and this gives us um, a 0.22 meters. So that's how far it moves, but this is only the delta x, where the initial position would be point. So it will end up at 0.47. So if you think of that, delta x plus xi equals xf. So 0.22 meters plus 0.25 meters, where it started for this region, gives me the 0.47 meters. Just choice.